guys, welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name's Eastiana. And I'm Jillian. In today's video, we are talking all about bridal and wedding hairstyles. So normally when we think of bridal and wedding hairstyles, we think of like fancy updos, big curls, lots of embellishments. But today we're gonna take a more simple, modern, and updated approach to the Perfect looks. for 2020, mm -hmm. super chic. Whether you are a bride or a bridesmaid or a wedding guest, there's something for you. I'm excited about this. So Me too. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so this first look is loose waves with a nice padded headband. I love this look and we've seen it a lot on royal wedding guests at the royal weddings. Yeah, it's super trendy and it's great if you're a wedding guest. For long, full, loose looking waves, I like to use my Luxy Hair Halo extensions. Completely optional, but adding extensions for weddings really add that touch of romance to your look. I'm just parting my hair about two inches back on my head and around the crown. Pin your hair up in a bun out of the way and then take your halo and place it over your head, lining the clear wire up with the part line you've created. Snap the two clips shut to secure it in place. Then I'm just going to let down my hair and gently brush it over to cover the wire. For extra blend on the sides, I'm adding the two bonus pieces. Now, it's important to protect your hair if you're using heat, so spritz or apply a heat protectant spray or serum. I'm just brushing mine through. Then I'm taking one to two inch sections and curling them away from my face. If you're interested in learning how to use the best curling technique, feel free to watch our signature waves tutorial in the description box below, or curl as you normally would. Once everything is curled away from my face, I spritz a bit of hairspray to hold it in place and then gently brush out all the curls to get that loose look. Now for the finishing touch. I'm adding the Luxie Hair Padded Velvet Headband, which has beautiful pearl detailing that's perfect for attending a wedding. Alright guys, so this next look is great if you prefer an updo or having your hair pulled back. So this is a sleek, long, low wrapped ponytail. So chic, so sleek, I love this look. And we're gonna show you how to do it two different ways. The so one with the Luxie Hair ponytails, which makes it super simple and doing a ponytail and making it extra long and voluminous. But also if you actually prefer an even longer ponytail with 24 inches extensions, which is so beautiful. So let's get into it. To start this look off, I'm just straightening my hair, and then to make this pony really pop with extra length and volume, I'm using my chocolate brown Luxie hair ponytail in 20 inches. So I'm just tying my hair back into a low ponytail. Then take the Luxie pony and insert the claw part right over the elastic. Wrap the ponytail tightly around and secure together with the Velcro. Then wrap the long piece around to cover everything, including the elastic. Secure everything in place with a bobby pin. I've already pre-straightened the ponytail set itself, so I'm just gonna brush it through and voila. This look is so simple, but so elegant and modern looking. A 
Okay, now let's take this look one step further and go even longer with 24 inches of extra hair. Application will be slightly different, so I'm starting by pinning up my hair, leaving a layer down, clip in a three clip weft, then let a layer down and add a four clip weft. Add a third layer and then gather everything together into a low ponytail with an elastic. Now to blend everything together, I'm taking another four clip weft and clipping and wrapping it around the elastic to kind of seal my natural hair and the other wefts together into one cohesive long ponytail. To conceal any clips showing and tighten everything up, take a one clip weft or a two clip weft and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. Because it's 24 inches, you can wrap it around multiple times, making this section look really thick, which kind of has a chic and elevated high fashion feel to it. And that's it. Mega long ponytail dreams come true. This next look is a modern take on the romantic wave. So instead of having everything all down in front, you're gonna sleek back the front and sides. Really sleek, really chic. So flattering on the face too. This is really popular with the Kardashians and we think it's a great look for a wedding. Yeah, so let's show you how it's done. Okay, for the sleek romantic look, I still want to amp up the drama and add some extra length and volume to my hair. I like using my seamless clip-in set in chocolate brown. I'm going to clip in all my back pieces in normally, starting with a three clipped weft, the two four clip wefts, and then the third three clipped weft. Instead of adding the side pieces on the sides of my head like normal, I'm actually going to be adding the two clip and one clip wefts to the back of my head, totally concentrating that volume and thickness all at the back. Once my wefts are all clipped in, I would go ahead and curl everything using the same technique as hairstyle one. Once curled, it's time to go sleek. So using a fine tooth comb, I'm brushing back the sides of my hair and tucking behind my ear. Use hairspray or even a little bit of hair gel to smooth it down and get it looking really sleek. To help everything stay put, you can add a bobby pin to secure and hide the pin behind your ear tucked away. And that's it for this easy, chic look. This last look, if you're into braids and you are a wedding guest or a bridesmaid, this look is perfect for you. It's a half fishtail, low ponytail hairstyle. So cute, so dreamy, great for like a boho or beachy themed wedding. I think it's beautiful on everyone. I agree, I love it. So whimsical, so let's get into it. To begin, I'm gonna make this braid look extra thick and voluminous, so I'm adding my 20 inches clip-in Lexi hair extensions. I'm just adding the two three clip wefts and the two four clip wefts. I'm not including any side pieces because I'm gonna bring everything to the back, but if you do want an even thicker look, feel free to add the two clip wefts on top of the three clip wefts. I'm just separating out some face framing pieces to soften this look and pulling everything else to the back into a low pony. Separate your hair right above the elastic to make a little hole and then topsy-turvy your ponytail by tucking the ends through the hole and creating a pretty twist. Then split the pony in half and it's time to fishtail braid. To do this, just take a small section from the right side and add it into the left side. Then grab a small section from the left and add it into the right. Just repeat this process until you get down to about the middle of the ponytail. I'm going to secure the half fishtail braid with a tiny elastic, then pancake everything by gently pulling pieces outwards to make the braid look messy and thicker. Also gently pull on the top twisted part to conceal the top elastic. 
To finish off, I'm wrapping the bottom tiny elastic with a small section of hair from the bottom and tucking the ends into the elastic for a clean look. This is an easier take on a braided bohemian bridal look. Super simple and pretty for a special day. Okay, that's it for today's video. Let us know in the comments below which hairstyle was your favorite. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye.